Hi, I'm Ted. Welcome to the Schoolie video, and uh, we're going to redo our propane rack. So, uh, I welded this up a year or so ago, and it was actually holding up pretty well, but uh, we ended up trying to turn this kind of sharp corner and drop down into this very narrow driveway. And when we did, sort of as we dropped, um, the rack kind of hit something and uh, kind of came kablooey and uh, got all bent up. And so I figured it was time, well, I got to do a new one. And I had some of this uh, angle iron kicking around. It was in an uh, old shelf. And I thought, well, maybe this stuff will be a little bit stronger, even though it's got the holes in it. So we're going to weld up some coping joints, some cope, cope joints, coping joints, I don't know, some kind of joints like that, and uh, see if we can rebuild it. But again, this metal's kind of shot, so we're going to try this stuff. Okay, so I uh, bought this, this sort of platform. Uh, we're just going to basically weld in a square and then bolt it to the bottom of the, of the bus. So, uh, what else goes? We also have this uh, automatic valve that switches back and forth between the two tanks, which is pretty handy that way. And especially with the propane fridge, you can uh, you know set it to automatically switch over and then you can check them and find out, oh, okay, this one's empty, you've gone the other one. Then you can go fill up the empty one and keep kind of going back and forth and you're never without... Uh, Never without propane, which is a good thing when you have a propane stove. So we're just going to weld up the box and transfer that stuff over to this and rehang it. So to get the right measurements here, again, I'm just going to cut this part, this corner out of, the, uh, of that angle iron so this can fits in and we'll weld along this line and that line. So I'm just going to push it in there. Use a square to get a nice straight line. And we'll use the angle grinder to cut that out because I don't have a fancy metal saw. But I'd love to have one. Right now I'll uh, just tack all the corners into place. Okay, we got it all sort of tacked into place, so now let's uh, do full weld. Okay, so we got it all welded. Um, they're not the prettiest welds. Like I said, I'm not the uh, best welder in the world. Um, but again, I'm pretty happy with that forney. If you want to check out, I can uh, check out the video where I talk about why I, why I bought that. But it, it's working pretty well. Um, and uh, one thing I found, which I really like this helmet too, it's, uh, um, it's, it's got a self-adjusting one. So my old one, it seems like it's dark and I couldn't see anything until you started welding and then who knows where you were and this is self-adjusting so you can actually see kind of kind of what you're doing when you first get started but one of my challenges is the um i don't i don't always don't set it right I, as much as i test uh to find out what the right settings is for the metal i really should test the helmet too it seems like sometimes i get in there and i just it's too dark i can't see where i'm going i see the you know, I see the, 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 the arc, but then like I can't, it's too dark around it and I'm like off the line and everywhere. I get to get better with that, but it looks like it's pretty rugged. looks like a hold up. So, uh, I'm going to polish it up, grind it down a little bit. Um, mostly I don't really care what it looks like. It's going to be under the bus, but I think it'll take paint, take paint better. 
Uh, so, and I realized too, I should have drilled those holes uh, for the bolts to hang for the bottom of the bus ahead of time because um, it's going to be harder to get in my drill press. And sometimes I do that. I forge ahead and I, I don't think a couple steps ahead like I should, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, all right, let's grind away and then drill some holes and then you can mount the tank thing. And well, I'll have to paint it first probably, but I'm getting there. Uh, and I, uh, for grinding stuff down, actually, I really like flat discs better than grinding um, wheels. They just seem to, uh, um, I seem to polish up a little bit better. These are Forney ones too. I know it's like, like an advertisement for Forney, but they're not sponsored yet. I just so far I like the stuff. All right, grind away. Well, like I said, I probably should have uh, should have pre-drilled this on my table on my. Uh, Drill press, but I forgot. So I hit the small, small bit here. I mark my spots right in the middle. I'm gonna just get started with the small bit and then move on to a bigger bit. I'm just taking it slow. I got a little bit of oil here just to smooth things down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna wash, uh, wash it. I'm gonna wipe it down with acetone. And then give it a primer coat. Okay, so yeah, uh, <laughs> that's even a little bent. But all right, so I put in the little valve, put that bolts on top, and put this rack on. Um, again, it was just the bolts. And so and I will go hang it underneath the bus. I'm probably not going to film that because it's too hard to hold the camera under there. <laughs> But I'll show you pictures of it afterwards. So right up here is that valve. And if you, you can move this lever to either one side, one tank or the other, or you can put it in the middle. And that way, when one tank runs out, it just switches over the other one. So, uh, I like that feature. All right, so I got the rack hung up in there, and I've uh, got a couple uh, full propane tanks. So we'll put them in there. Um, notice there's no there's no door here, because <laughs> at my uh, youngish age, I guess, um, right now it seems like it's easier to crawl under there and put tanks in than just actually install the door. So there will come a point probably where I feel like crawling under there and putting the tanks in is too much of a pain and then I'll actually get to the door but for now we'll just crawl under. Alright guys so uh, there's uh, another project done. It seems like uh, again in this world there's always something else to do another project. So so hope this has been helpful for anybody that is uh, considering creating their own propane rack. So uh, you know, like, subscribe, do all those things that you do and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.